So, uh, hmm. <laughs> um, so you know how yesterday I said I spent pretty much the whole day reading Ready Player One? Today I spent a good chunk of the day finishing Ready Player One. So, <laughs> it's now 8.30, which is fine. We have time to vlog, but, um, this is the first time I'm picking up the camera because I finished the book. It was very good. I'm glad I finished it. Glad I took two days to relax. Well, really a day since I'm still putting up a vlog today. Uh, you can tell I was laying in bed doing it because I've got one eyebrow just standing straight up because my face was smushed into a pillow. Um, but yeah, let's just see what we can do. I gotta get blaze into a bath he doesn't particularly need one like like he doesn't visibly look dirty but he's giving me hedgy hives which means even though I can't see it something's going on in his quills so I'm gonna give him a bath and I think I'm gonna give him one in the big bath even though the lighting's kind of wonky in there um, as you guys would have seen in today's video I don't give them the opportunity to like run around and have fun in the tub very often um just because i have to like fully wash the tub when i'm done um whereas if i wash them in their own bowl it's not that big of a deal um but yeah so i'm gonna let him run around and play maybe he'll actually run around and play draco's a little old man so he's not as active as he used to be he was never very active hedgehog to begin with he's kind of always been just a chunky, lazy cutie. So um, we'll get Blaze into the big tub so he has an opportunity to have some of the fun that Draco had. Draco seemed to really enjoy the space. Um, and then I guess we'll, we'll go from there. So here's the messy pig. He definitely needs a foot bath. His quills aren't visibly dirty, but I'm gonna wash those too because like I said, he's giving me hedgy hives. Um, so normally like, if he'd open up, you'd see his paws are dirty. And normally if their quills aren't dirty, what you can do is put them in about an inch of water. They'll walk around, they'll kick the poop off of their feet um, and kind of soak it off and then that would be fine. Since he's giving me hedgy hives, I am going to wash him with some soap. That's also why I'm not touching him right now so that I don't get all itchy right, right this second. Um, sometimes I just deal with it, but I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and give him a bath because last night he gave me some pretty wicked hedgy hives. Hi cuteness. Oh, look at those feet. Look at them covered. So for those of you who don't have hedgehogs, these are what are called poop boots. Uh, hedgehogs poop on their wheels when they run and poop gets stuck to their feet and you have to wash it off. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Oh, so cute. All right, I'm getting you in. I need two hands to do that. I don't wanna just plonk them down in the bathtub. So the bonus of the big tub is that there's a shallow end and a deep end. He's kind of hanging out in the deep end. Um, there he goes. He's figuring it out and pooping in my tub. Yay! Poop in the tub. <laughs> and I put the wheel in there. He might use it. He might not. They don't really like the comfort wheels that much. Um, why are you hanging out in the deep end? He can still touch at the deep end, but like. What are you doing? Um, no, he's pooping. So they don't really like the comfort wheels because they bend forward, but I don't want to put the Carolina Storm wheel in there because I don't want to get a bunch of water inside the PVC because it's a nightmare to dry. Well, not really, but I just don't feel like doing it. <laughs> so. If I have a comfort wheel, I'm going to use the comfort wheel. Some people put their hedgehog's wheels in the baths with them and then the hedgehogs will run on them and clean them, <laughs> which I always think is funny. His little sniffer is going crazy. Are you trying to swim? It's not quite deep enough, dear.
Oh my god. You're pooping even more than your brother did. I need like a fish net. <laughs> And look, all the poop is coming off of your foot. Yay. He's totally trying to swim and it's not deep enough. Your feet are just scraping the bottom, dear. Yeah, you can stand. Does the tub smell good? Here. You, oh, don't snort it. Try that end. How's that end? Oh yeah. No? <laughs> you just went out. Yeah. You can try the wheel. That might be fun. Here, come here. Oh. Nope, he doesn't want me to touch him. Well, you're not going to be able to climb out by your own, by yourself, by your own. <laughs> That's English. Hello. Yes. Stand on my hand. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I got cute pictures of your brother doing this yesterday. <clears throat> it's like, Mom, save me. Save me from this dreadful torture. Oh, my God. You're pooping so much in my tub. I think he must be enjoying himself because I've put my hand in a couple times and he knows very well that he can use it to get out and he isn't, so. Are you exploring? I won't lie, it's a little scary holding my camera over a bathtub. I should definitely be using the wrist strap thingy. You wanna come out? You don't have to stay in. What do you think? Are you frozen? <laughs> I think he wants to figure out how to climb out on his own, which is obviously not possible. All right, I'm gonna soap him up and clip his nails because he doesn't seem very thrilled about this situation. Um. So we'll get him sorted out quickly. He's ready to get out clearly, even though he apparently doesn't want me to get him out. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna wash him and clip his nails real quick and I'm gonna do it off camera because I need two hands to do that. All right, Grump Gus. What do you think? And there we go. He's putting his foot in there. What a weirdo. He's got his toes curled under. And there's one crawling up his ankle. Oh, he kicked it off. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> oh. You better watch that one. It's going to use your leg as an escape route. He moved his foot. He must feel it. <laughs> it's going back for it. You didn't appreciate that? <laughs> oh, and he dead now. Wow, that was impressive. You finished that stuff up really fast. Okay, I would love to sit and watch him eat like I usually do, but I have a load of cleaning to do. I've got a spot clean Draco's cage and Blazes for that matter, and the pigs, and uh, 
yeah, lots of spot cleaning. that Sissa is the queen of peeing on everything um, that I don't want her to pee on. Thankfully I sealed these, but uh, yeah. Safe to say wooden things won't last long in her cage and her wheel, but I mean her wheel is easy at least. All right, there we go. All is clean and uh, you know, Smelling better. <laughs> Hi. And she's got new food, which she's going to pick all of the sunflower seeds out of before getting anything else. So yeah, moving on to the next one. She gets a cage clean very, very soon. As soon as I get all of the stuff for the winter wonderland theme. No, it won't be a Christmas theme, which means there's a possibility it won't be out before Christmas, but that's okay, because winter barely starts here until January anyway. <laughs> that's my excuse. Um, now we gotta get the pig's veggies, and uh, Gimli's not up, Finn is of course not up, and neither are the hogs, so let's, uh, let's get the veggies. All right, well, we're at the end of the night. Piggies are getting their dinner, as per usual. Bear's trying to supervise. Uh-uh. Shoot, I left my door open again. Come on, out. I have to remember to close that. They're chewing, it's just so relaxing. I could literally sit here and listen to them just eat their entire salad and be totally content. <laughs> and I have a visitor. Are you jealous? I won't let him through to steal carrots. Here, I'll steal one for you. There you go. Only one. <laughs> Your chewing isn't as cute. <laughs> All right, well, guys, I uh, have to walk and feed the pups. No, you can't come over here. You gotta stay over there. Anyway, I have to walk and feed the pups. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.